What do you know about the moon? Are there colors up there? Why didn't the moon just become a little Earth? Why aren't more people talking about the moon? Why don't you tell us what would happen if it was destroyed? The only reason this is happening is because the moon's causing it. What I started to realize is like, I think we don't actually know the moon. It's Monday, April 8th. Here's the morning headlines from Michael Hill. It's the talk of the town, as you've been hearing. A solar eclipse is coming today. To participate in the rare celestial experience. Local officials are urging New Yorkers to be prepared for the eclipse. Nearly 90% of the sun will be blocked out by the moon. Public library branches are distributing special eclipse glasses, which are available while supplies last. And the city is urging people to take mass transit and says drivers should be careful and turn on their headlights when the skies turn dark. The Parks Department is hosting events in every borough with rangers allowing visitors to view the phenomenon through solar telescopes. The parks they'll set up at include Inwood Hill Park in Manhattan, Parade Ground in Brooklyn, and Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx. A historic earthquake shook up New York and New Jersey on Friday and other parts of the East Coast, and a solar eclipse is coming today. The events were top of mind for religious leaders yesterday, with some pointing to them as signs of a grander spiritual meaning. Reverend Susan Sparks at the Madison Avenue Baptist Church says she's on high alert in case there's even more in store for New York City. We had an earthquake on Friday. We got an eclipse on Monday. There's locusts heading towards us in the Midwest. Um, So I was seriously thinking about dropping my sermon and going heavy-duty revelations. Muslim leaders in the city also mentioned Friday's earthquake in their prayer the day of the earthquake. The Yankees have won their third straight series this season after they beat the Blue Jays 8-3 to in the Bronx yesterday. Giancarlo Stanton's tie-breaking grand slam was the big hit. After losing their first two series, the Mets won their first yesterday, taking two of three from the Reds in a 3-1 to win in Cincinnati. Francisco Lindor hit his first home run to end an 0-for-24 skid. Starting pitcher Sean Manea got his first win as a Met, allowed just a run on three hits with six strikeouts and over five innings. Way to go Mets, way to go Yankees. 42 and clear now, mostly sunny today and 65, and then tomorrow mostly sunny and warm, 72, but shower and rain chances all the way through Friday night. Should be nice enough and clear enough to see that solar eclipse today.
The biggest celestial event in years will be visible in our skies next month in broad daylight. On the afternoon of April 8th, we can treat ourselves to a rare solar eclipse.